Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Dark Souls 2. In our last episode, we got a key for the blacksmith here in Majula, so I've headed back here. I also went and got some extra souls, so we could maybe buy some equipment upgrades, or whatnot. I also decided to go back to the mace, because it looks better. It just looks cooler. Look at it. It's a cool-looking mace. That club looked kind of dumb, so... First things first, let's talk to our blacksmith buddy here. Hey, buddy. I'm a blacksmith. I'm nothing without my tools. Well, I have a key. Bring me that key. Talk to I have the key. I'm a blacksmith. Bring me that key. Oh, Chop maybe I just have to open the door. Woo! That's right, you can get to work. But first, let me set up. Come again later. I will. Anything in here? Ooh, it's a chest. Not a mimic. What do we get? A short bow. Ooh. So the short bow. You need a 12 dexterity. A type of small bow used by hunters in training to equip arrows to use. Equip up to two types of arrows to give yourself immediate options in battle. Use arrows to hit enemies from afar to gain the upper hand by drawing first blood. So we could equip a bow if we wanted to. If we wanted to have some long range, but I don't know. Uh, let's take a look here. We don't have enough strength to really use the bow. Whoop, that's not what we want. So, we just don't have enough strength to use it. But I wonder if we could at least use it to pull enemies to us, even if we don't have the right amount of strength. So, we'll hold on to it. We won't have it equipped, but uh, we'll keep it around in case we need it. In fact, why don't we... Uh... Oh, wow, the binoculars really would put us over our equip load. That's terrible. Terrible. All right, so we need to wait for him to set up shop. I think if we just rest at the bonfire, I think that'll have him set up his shop. Won't that have him move? Yes, that updates him. Look at that, perfect. Now we get the cool blacksmithy sounds. He's working on a little sword right there. You stand back. This is dangerous work. Really? So here we can do our upgrading. Let's uh, do some more talking, though. Right. <laughs> or worse than my reckless daughter. Don't spend your whole life in transit, you hear? You'll need souls to repair and improve equipment. I know only of smithing, but souls have many other uses as well. Don't waste your souls on useless trinkets. Think before you spend. We should have done that before we bought that stupid club. Equipment can be strengthened with rare ore stone. But such ore stone won't come easily. My girl knows her stones. But she's always out prancing about. Now, there's a time for travels. But you can't wander the world forever. He keeps hitting us in the face. Must have someone waiting back home. Drat. <laughs> Don't spend your whole Alright, so what can he does he sell? He sells some basic weapons here. So he has a straight sword. Uh sorry. A long sword. Let's just read these. Standard straight sword. This straight sword is sufficient in most respects and effective in most situations, if wielded properly. 
Those who aspire to master the sword are certain to wield this at some point in their journey. We have a broadsword. The straight sword is sufficient in most respects and effective in most. Okay, it's the same, says the same thing, just slightly different, slightly different weapons. We have the falchion, a standard curved sword. Each slash of a curved sword does less damage than a straight sword, but can deal a series of hits in flowing succession. The sharp blade is effective at causing bleeding, but is soon dulled. Beware when facing rock-solid foes. We have an estoc, a large thrusting sword with a blade. The sturdy, slender long blade is designed to pierce the armor of enemies, and its strong attack can even inflict damage upon foes hiding behind shields. Though primarily a thrusting sword, its blade can also be used to slash your enemy. It has a shield-piercing effect. The rapier uh, uses quick thrust to damage hard skin foes, also effective when fighting in narrow spaces. We have a battle axe, an axe crafted for battle. Axes generally deal more damage than swords, but each soon leaves its wielder vulnerable. One is tempted to swing axes with wild abandon, but in fact their effective manipulation demands caution and precise timing. We have the mace, which is what we're wielding. A club fitted with a head crafted for battle. The mace is the archetypal blunt weapon, we've already read this. And then the spear, a standard spear. Spears allow one to attack a foe from a distance and while holding up a shield. Thrusting attacks are effective even against opponents with strong defense, but they have a narrow point of contact and won't effectively break through a shielded defense. Looks like he sells arrows as well. Uh, so regular wooden arrows, inexpensive wooden arrows, easily acquired but not very threatening. Bows are excellent tools for attacking foes from a safe distance, but require the equipment of some type of arrow. Standard arrows made of iron. Sturdy arrows that pierce, pierce effectively. Iron arrows are powerful, but not cheap. And be careful, be certain not to overuse them. Then we have bolts, if you have a crossbow. So the wooden bolt, inexpensive wooden bolts, not very intimidating, but highly portable and easy to use. Use of a crossbow requires equipping of bolts, which are shorter than arrows. And the heavy bolts, standard crossbow bolts made of iron. Effective at piercing enemies. Very effective in ranged attacks, though somewhat expensive to use willy-nilly. And finally, uh, looks like he has some repair powder, restore your equipment, we've already read that, and he has some titanite shards to reinforce your equipment. We've already read those as well, because uh, we have one. But let's reread it, I, I thought we did. Titanite shards to use to reinforce equipment, reinforces weapon to plus three. Titanite was discovered in an ancient layer of earth and said to be a gift of the gods. Titanite of this size has very little power, but is still a rare find. So what are we going to do? Well, let's reinforce a weapon. Let's re we don't need to repair anything. So we can reinforce our uh, good old our good old mace here. And if we do this, it'll have more base damage. So I think we're going to do that. So we're going to spend 520 souls and one of our three Titanite shards. And we're going to do it again. We're going to spend 650 souls and one of our two of our our two remaining Titanite shards. So we're going to upgrade that. So now our mace is even more impressive. Get away from his hammer. Woo! So now we do a base of uh, 140. So we're up to 195 damage with our mace for a base attack, which is pretty cool. So, did that also increase its durability? Uh, nope, durability is still at 60. That is okay. Well, let's level up a little bit while we're here. Before we move on. You have told us this before, lady. We don't have any Estus shards, but we do have souls, so let's level up. And I think I want to go ahead and level up our attunement for right now. Because right now we can only equip a single spell. But if we can get our attunement up to here, level 13, that'll get us to the point where we can equip two separate spells. So we're going to do that. Which is beautiful. And then, to top it all off, we're going to head over to where our buddy was, that... uh lady in the forest of giants at the cardinal tower here we go
go. And I need just a couple more souls for what I want. Oh, actually, we'll, we'll buy it here in a minute. Never mind, we don't need to waste anything. So this is where we left off. This guy's going to sneak out on us. Come on, buddy. Ooh. Still takes two hits, but that's okay. Do pretty good damage. So when we left off, we had talked about heading down here to check this out, and that is exactly what we're going to do. We are going to have to be careful. Because we do not have an infinite amount of life. I did die once while getting other souls, because I was just being dumb. I actually did it doing that jump, if you remember. Trying to get those items, I missed it again. Then the third time was a charm. I got there, I got the item. It turned out to be a soul and a throwing knife. So it wasn't even worth it. Let's drop down here. Look around. Nothing nearby. Okay. Looks like there are stuff all over. How do we get there? I wonder. That'll be tough to do. Uh, let's see. What do we have? Guy right here. Let's go ahead and take care of him. Oh! Two guys, and I missed both of them. That was terrible. Oh, we took a hit for no reason. How did you get over there? Did you jump over there? From here? I don't know. Hopefully you didn't hear my phone just buzzing away there in the background. I do apologize if you did. I just noticed it was uh, ringing at me. They will have to wait. We have killing to do. Let's be real careful, though. Oh, okay. There's that hole where we can go back to where we were. That'll work. Oh, there's a staircase. Oh, we can climb up there. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's see. Looks like we have another jump. Oh, come on. Don't die! Got a human effigy out of that. That's always cool. I hear bad guys all over. Oh, that's why. Oh no. Got him. Woo! That was close. Closer than I enjoy. Alright, so what do we have down here? Anybody? Here's someone walking around. nothing. Well, let's go slow and let's see if we can clear this out without dying. Soul of a Lost Omdead and another torch. Take care of him. Oh, he's got a buddy. Ooh, a bandit's knife. Ooh, we'll look at that in a minute. Let's, uh... So close to one hitting these guys. And a life gem. Alright, well, let's look at that bandit's knife. And I got a couple other things, too. Yeah, I think we're safe for now. Uh, I picked up, uh, let's see, the bandit's knife itself. A knife with a slightly broad. I just want to keep an eye on these dudes. A knife with a slightly broad single edge. Its tip is shaped to leave a wound that won't easily close. Designed for unsavory work and beloved by those of an unsavory ilk. These guys are just getting too close. Come here. Come on. Oh, I'm in the menus. Oh, we broke that statue. There we go. Alright, back here. Woo! There we go. Uh, I also picked up from just killing some random people. Um, I picked up a set of hollow infantry gloves. Gloves worn by hollowed infantry. A piece of basic minimal equipment. Worse yet, they're worn and nearly falling apart. Not recommended unless your options are spent. Also a set of their boots or their leggings. Leggings worn by hollowed royal soldiers. They appear to be crafted with quality materials, but are highly degraded and close to falling apart. Wearing these will be of little use. Alright. There we go. Let's uh let's do a little healing. 
before we head this way. Oh, let's do it twice, because I like to push the button twice. That was uh, a waste, but that's okay. Alright, so now we have to deal with this big in here. This turtle man. Come on, turtle man. Let's get away from... Hey, come here. Follow me this way, turtle man. So this guy, we're going to basically bait him to attack. And then we're going to hit him once. I'll wait for him to attack again. There we go. Not too tough. Not impossible. Um, if you fight them from right up behind them, they do fall backwards on you, and it hurts a lot. It's very painful. Okay. We're probably going to die here. So this is just a little section to go through. Uh, looks like we have an item over here. A life gem. There's all kinds of scariness happening in there. But here, it looks like we had a tunnel full of fire. Let's get this body out of the way. I have a feeling this is going to hurt. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pop a life gem. We're going to run in here and grab whatever that is and then run out and hope we don't die. Ready? Run, 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 run! Silver Proud Knight! Oh, 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 that's bad, that's bad. Woo! Look at all those people that died. And we did, we didn't even take hit. We didn't need to use our life gem. I didn't think that would be the case. I don't know what these bodies are, but... Breaking them seems the right thing to do. Alright, what's that put us at? 17 minutes? Uh, let's see if we can't figure out some last parts of this section then. It uh, looks like we have a tree branch here. Uh, let's get back up top and look around here. There's a couple items still in this area. Let's see if we can't grab them. Climb on up. Oh, we need more stamina. Definitely. Alright, so we have an item there. And, do we have anything over here? I thought I saw something else. Yeah, I can see an item right there. Okay. Let's just drop down. Alright, so... Somebody wrote a message here. See what this says. Jumping required ahead and then pointless. Well, that's handy. We just watched that guy do it. How did you get to that? I wonder. Okay. Anyways, here we go. A prism stone. We've seen those before, but they were rather expensive. That gives us quite a few of those. Did we pick up another soul that we haven't read? We did. The Proud Knight. Soul of a proud undead knight who has long ago gone hollow. Used to acquire many souls, the soul is the source of all life, and even on death or hollowing, the mind seeks souls. So, anything up here? No. A bunch of messages people have left. Is there anything up here? Nope, no items over there. Is there any way to get a little section here? What do these people write? Hurrah for bravery? Oh, I guess you could drop down on something, but I don't see how you could get up to that. I think that's... Is this a mystery? Nice job. Thank you. Oh my goodness, there's a dude right here. Holy moly. All right. Um, that's what they do. They fall backwards on you. If you stand behind them. So you have to be careful. <laughs> Man, that mace does nice damage. Is there another one in here? Oh, nope, but there's something. A foot soldier's shield. Let's take a look at that. 
So the foot soldier shield is a small shield used by drag leg foot soldiers. A clearly makeshift shield that does not offer significant defense. The only advantage of this shield is it makes parrying easier. And in fact, it's just worse in every way. It weighs more and is worse. That's that's terrible. Let's get that off us. It's just hurting our equip load. We're not even using this. We don't even need a shield. We're too cool for shields, folks. That's all there is to it. At least right now. I don't believe... I, I just don't see how to get to that. I mean, you could... There's no way you can jump that. That would just be death. No, that's a trick. You must have to come at this from over there. From another section of the castle, I guess. It's gonna be my bet. I don't think you would... Yeah, you have to come in from over there somewhere. There must be a staircase down that we can't get to right now uh, that gets you there. You know, I wonder... Uh, let's see, this should take us back out here? Okay, I know where we're at. We're in a spot where we are just bad at games. There we go. For some reason I wasn't dual wielding. Or two handing. There we go. And we'll get this last guy. There we are. Ow! That guy's a jerk. Another life gem though. Add that to our collection of handy gems. Heal up. Fight this guy over here, because I unless we already killed him. I don't remember. Oh, yep, he's dead. I wonder. In a previous Souls game, in the Demon Souls game, there was a ledge right here, or in a castle that you could kind of roll over, and you had to. It does not appear to be the case here. Okay, no biggie. Well, that's this section of the castle done. Let's head over here and let's make use of our new attunement that we got by talking to her again. I knew I'd be back as well. So we're going to buy this additional heal spell here. Because now we can rest here and we can attune that as well. Giving us six heal spells total, which is pretty cool. It's a lot of health for us. Think of the number of life gems that's going to keep us from having to use. We can just keep building up a stock of those for later in the game. Which will be handy for boss fights when we actually need them because we are bad at video games. So folks, that is this section of the castle complete. What's going to happen is I am going to gather a... Oh shoot, there's that guy right there. Oh, I totally forgot about you. You jerk. Woo. What I was going to say is that I'm going to build up just a couple extra souls just for fun for myself to get in the groove. And then when we come back in the next episode, we will head down this hole in the ground to the next section of the castle, folks. I'm going to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. And as always, we hope to see you soon.